So I just read Bleat My Dad Says, which could be the most important book written in the 21st century. But it got me to thinking about my own dad and the wonderful life lessons he's taught me. And I compiled a, a list of some of the, the most important points that I've discovered throughout the course of my life from him. Point one, it doesn't matter if they're hundreds of miles away. If you yell at a referee or an umpire on TV, they will hear you. Shockingly, there won't be a call reversal. In fact, calls will get worse despite you. A little known fact, the reason that the A's are losing all the time now is just because my dad and I have poisoned all the empires against us. So, you can blame us. Not, you know, the terrible offense or bullpen or anything. One other thing I've learned in that vein is if you swear, your kids will magically not even know what it means, even if they're 22. Point two, it's okay to listen to any music you want, from Yanni to Enya to 98 Degrees to Enrique Iglesias. So, as a result of his tutelage, I might start belting out Baby Beluga by Rafi in the middle of nowhere. But, uh, maybe it's just to provide a distraction so I can throw away all of my dad's Yanni CDs. Point three, what mom doesn't know can't hurt her. He used to watch Beavis and Butthead with us, Ren and Stimpy with us, but only when my mom wasn't around. In fact, he used to say, no sir, I don't like it, like that horse used to say in, in all the little cartoons that they had, and my, my mom had no idea where that came from. But after a while, she kind of figured it out, and then she just started playing along. In fact, I caught her singing the, the log song a few times. Point four, if you're sick, it's all just because you don't want to eat something. Well, you just vomited, it's all a ploy. Point five, never take a man's remote. But if you do, have fun with it. Because, you know, we all know that walking up to the TV is incredibly difficult, and, and no one should have to do that to change channels. But one time, my brother took the remote and ran outside with it. We had a picnic table and a big living room window. So he was changing channels from outside and then hiding under the table so that my dad wouldn't see. And he got really, really mad and started having remote control rage. But, um, if he had found out what was going on, my brother might have been in some serious trouble, but he was the crazy one anyway. He's the same one who hid in the freezer for an hour during hide-and-seek. If it's life-threatening, he's gonna do it. Point six. Everyone else on the road is a lunatic who took driver's ed from their hamster. Everyone else's license should be revoked. The DMV should be done away with for allowing these miscreants the ability to drive. But, you know, when we make a mistake, it's just because, you know, we weren't paying attention or because the other drivers were making a mistake. So, you know, if, if, if we take out an old lady in a walker, it's just because she shouldn't have been there. But if others don't signal, well, we should never be allowed to drive again. Point seven, music was much better in the 60s and 70s. But that's actually true. Robert Plant's hair could eat Justin Bieber right up. Well, Paul McCartney's meaningful silliness in songwriting caused Kesha's head to explode. And Eric Clapton just points his guitar at Lady Gaga, and she runs away screaming. That last one was going to be Eric Clapton pointing his guitar at John Mayer, but I secretly love him. Thanks for the good music. Point eight. All men are dirty perverts and should be avoided at all costs. But I didn't really need that lesson because I have four brothers, and I had a lot of mysteriously missing Barbie dolls growing up. Point nine. Mustaches are the mark of a cool man. Tom Selleck should be president, just for his mustache and I think that his running mate would be his mustache. Point 10, my dad is cooler than your dad, and not just because of his mustache.